What's up, hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back again with another video. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother. JT Hustles. <laughs> so a lot of you guys know that I've been in my app development bag uh, here for a minute and I don't know it all. So I have been patient and um, speaking about it. But what I wanted to do in this particular video is just pretty much go through some uh, research in real time with you guys, let you know where my mind is at. If you're out there and you're interested in apps, I want you to first know that it is 100% possible. Now, I know in the traditional sense, a lot of people view apps as overly complicated and expensive, but I have been fortunate enough to have multiple developers reach out to me thanks to what I've been able to do over the past two years as a YouTuber in helping people. And you know, uh, my karma is starting to come back around. So these people have reached out to me and have offered to help me make apps in an affordable way and teach me how to do it for myself. I'm still working out the logistics, the finances and etc. cetera. Uh, what I want you guys to do though is for one, share this video with anybody you think can help. Also, hit that thumbs up button. It's great for the analytics on this channel. But what I want to do in this video is talk to you guys about apps being an asset. And deeper than that, I just want to tell you guys why am I even interested in developing a portfolio of apps? What do I plan to do with them? And I look forward to reading your feedback down in the comment section below. And in the premiere of this video, I'm going to be active in the premiere. So without further ado, let's get into it. I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. All right, hustlers. So um, as you can tell, I'm actually cooking. I'm always multitasking. So I wanted to create content for you guys like I'm doing. I'm working on the laptop. Uh, I ain't eat all day. I want to encourage you guys to not just listen to what I say, but observe what you guys have seen me do uh, via the lens of YouTube and uh, those people that have met me in person from doing live events or etc. as well and know that I try to be the most genuine person I can be at all times. But uh, the reason why I'm even thinking about apps is because I personally believe, let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comment section below, that the time will come where entrepreneurially speaking, People will expect you to have your own app, just like if you want to be taken seriously as an entrepreneur, people expect you to have your own website, right? So I think that I might be getting a little bit ahead of the curve. I know there already are a lot of people out there that's in that app space, but it's still to me, uh, from what I observe as an entrepreneur, it's not as commonplace um, globally or even nationally as I feel like it will eventually become. So. I'm thinking that's the direction that things are going in. So you guys know that have been following me for any amount of time that this year I want to learn as much as I can about tech and real estate. We invested in the property at the end of last year. We're taking our time with it to try to learn as much in real estate with this single property uh, as possible. And we're doing the same thing with tech. So I'm working on, believe it or not, several apps at the same time. So I'm working on one house, several apps. I'm also trying to create a ton of content for you guys, uh, whether it's YouTube videos, books, courses, and etc. 
uh, cause you guys know that my ultimate goal is to be a media company and I gotta practice what I preach. All in all, back to the point, um, I think that's the direction that things are going in. So I wanna try and get in on that. It's already been proven uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, the research that I'm doing tonight is just trying to figure out pretty much um, what apps do the best. There are certain apps that I am going to do, Lord willing of course, that are kind of selfish. Like I wanna do an independent courier app because um, all things being equal, I pretty much introduced the world to the independent courier business. It was kind of like in the shadows. Then I started kicking game about it. Now everybody knows about being an independent courier and if you don't know about it, I got a whole playlist that'll teach you. So share that with your family members, your friends, whoever you think it can help. So I've got to do the independent courier app. I already wrote the best independent courier book of all time. Um, I also want to do a fitness app. I do want to look into the business app space, the motivational app space, and etc. because I think that at least being familiar familiar with them understanding how they convert do they do well or not is as I grow as a marketer professional marketer and uh, building my small media company I think that um, these will be tools that I can utilize to better service my clients so maybe I run into a client that doesn't have an app but wants an app or needs an app and then I can advise them based off of my own personal experiences because you guys know I take a lot of pride in being a practitioner on my two cents if they'll be willing to take it regarding apps so that's why I have around about five different app ideas uh, that I'm gonna slowly but surely roll out follow me on Instagram It's gonna be announced first on Instagram then on YouTube just because it's a little bit simpler for me to present information that way now uh, what I have up on the screen right now I'm gonna share it with you I'm not making it any harder than it has to be I literally googled the top gross and mobile apps of all time what popped up at the top of my search history is Candy Crush and it made billions of dollars An app made billions of dollars now uh, I don't know how much Candy Crush costs, but um, and to be real with you, you guys might think I'm lying or think that it's crazy. I never even played Candy Crush. Um, I bought an Android phone just so I could test my apps on Android and iOS systems. Uh, and it came, my actual phone came with Candy Crush on it. The Android phone that I bought, but I still have never played it. But um, I know people that have, they told me about it. That's good to know. Uh, the, highest cro the highest grossing app is a game, right? Now, of course, uh, more due diligence can be done besides just a simple Google search, but I always like to start here simply and then just get some answers to my basic questions so that way uh, I don't look like I'm wasting somebody's time or uh, I'm just some novice that wants to be spoon-fed all the information because uh, one of the worst things for me, and I don't like people to do it so I don't treat anybody else like that, is that uh, when they come to me with simple questions that they could have easily uh, done the research for themselves, so now it looks like they're a lazy person because it's like, that's a simple question. You could have literally Googled that, got the answer, and now uh, you could have came to me kind of knowing a little bit about what you're talking about, and now we're having a deeper conversation. And now intellectually, I feel like uh, I take you a little bit more seriously. That's my experience, and I know a lot of other fellow entrepreneurs that share that same type of energy as well. So uh, it's good to know that at least according to Google, top grossing game of all time, uh, the, the top grossing app of all time, according to Google, is a game. And that very well may be a telltale sign that my first app should be a game. So we're going to start there. Uh, secondly, other than the top app ever, uh, I also want to see maybe the top five, the top ten. So again, like I'm telling you guys, I'm going to utilize the free resources just like I tell you guys. I'm uh, going to try to find a couple of lists, see what some of the, the common apps that make all of the list are and then I'm going to cut the camera back on because that might take a little while to jump around a few places and then I'm gonna give you guys maybe a five or ten app list of apps that have historically done very well and then we're gonna apply that information and start looking for apps to buy because there's two ways to do it you could pay a developer to make your own app or you can just buy an app and it can literally be an app that's already in the app store uh, somebody is not marketing it properly or for whatever reason somebody just doesn't want to market it or just doesn't want it anymore a few moments later all right hustlers now I'm back of course it's the the usual suspects at the top of the list 
Uh, of course, the top apps are social media apps. So we're going to see Facebook, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, Google Maps, Snapchat, Skype. Those are like the top apps right now. And it makes a lot of sense. We all are on social media. However, I personally don't think that it is a wise investment, at least for me right now. Outside of those social media app games are doing very well, right? So uh, I'm seeing Pokemon Go, Clash Royale. Game of War, uh, Honor of Kings, Puzzle and Dragons, Monster Strike, of course we said Candy Crush, Clash of Clans. So what I personally am going to do, well there's also Temple Run is up here, Angry Birds is up here. Um, these are some more the ones that I actually heard of. So yeah, uh, but in the top few apps, social media is killing it uh, with the exclusion of the Google Maps, um, Skype is up there. Uh, all of those sort of apps that uh, I'm thinking that since I'm getting into it at this level, I don't really want to dive in and say my first app is going to be a social media app or uh, something that advanced. But uh, since games do very well, I think that my very first app uh, will probably be a game. Games do really well. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go grab my Android phone and I'm going to download all of these games and... Uh, I'm going to have my assistant and myself play these games so that way uh, I can get a feel as to, you know, I wonder why people like some of these games as much as they do. Another thing that I've noticed as well, and I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on this as well, I don't see a lot of fitness apps and I don't see a lot of like um, motivational or inspirational type apps and, and that might not be the technical uh terminology for the app like for an example on my phone i have a, a bible app you may have some sort of bible app as well um i know other people that have like horoscope apps uh and these apps are like they give you your daily horoscope every day hopefully something positive if you get the right app or if you have the Bible app, it might give you a notification and a, a daily scripture every day or something like that. That's what I mean when I say like motivational or inspirational type apps. I'm not seeing any of them make it to the top of any of these lists, uh, whether it's a motivational app or a fitness app. So me, myself, I'm thinking that maybe it's an opportunity to create an app that can uh, be more than just whatever the, the traditional or the basic motivation or fitness app is so that it can make it to the top of some of these lists so let's browse around a little bit let's see if we can find um a couple of apps that are not going to cost us an arm and a leg uh to check out we just starting in google we're not making anything complicated we're just going to go down the rabbit hole just a little bit for the sake of time in this video but i'll continue going down the rabbit hole offline until um we find something that makes sense all right we're gonna test out some of these uh least expensive apps apparently these apps are already in the app store so you can buy it transfer it over into your account and just let it keep doing what it's doing but i'll share some screenshots with you Alright, 
you guys so the value that i hope you got from this is i want you to see that you can get apps inexpensively i know lots of people think that you gotta get an app for thirty thousand fifty thousand a hundred thousand dollars um you do have to do your due diligence because i have already had an instance where i have purchased an inexpensive app the code was trash the app itself just turned out to be trash i watched videos looked at the screenshot everything looked good once i actually got that code and tried to work with it it was a nightmare and the developers that i was trying to get to help me was like hey for what it's going to cost for us to figure this out we can make it for you we'll make this same game for you because it, it was so tedious it was such a mess on their end they were having trouble getting it uploaded into their their engines to even work on it so you guys there you have it share this with anybody you think it can help if you want more app videos like this be sure to subscribe if you're new smash that thumbs up button it tells youtube videos like this are great content and it shows it to more people it allows the hustle family continue to grow and until next time so i'm a hustler stay hustling jt hustles i'm gone i choose not to be a common man it's my right to be uncommon if i can i seek opportunity not security i do not wish to be a kept citizen humbled and dull by having the state look after me i want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build to fail and to succeed i refuse to live from hand to mouth i prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia i will never cower before any master nor bend to any threat it's my heritage to stand erect proud and unafraid to face the world boldly and say this i have 